Hi everyone, today we'll take you on a different tourist uh, tour around Oslo. Uh, we, instead of taking those uh, expensive tour buses and that, we will take you on a tram ride number 12, where you will see the most important things of Oslo and you will have that kind of a different tourist experience, more with the locals. And you know, in the end, we're gonna end up at a hidden gem, a secret gem, where only locals hang out. And as you can see on the weather, it's gonna be a beautiful ride. Are you ready? Come on. Is this like uh, the quickest way to explore Oslo? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have only like, you say, 24 hours and what to do in Oslo, then we will definitely recommend you to take this uh, a tram number 12 uh, either from the east or from the west side and uh, if you have taken that I, I promise you you will have seen most of uh, Oslo the next stop around here will soon be one of the well the most famous tourist attractions in Oslo called Viglandsparken you know with all those naked sculpture in it you probably have seen it on your uh, tour guide suggestion and it's an okay park i mean a lot of tourists and uh, it's very luscious and green as you can see uh, and over there we have the entrance to the Vigelands park yeah cool <laughs> Uh, it's I, don't, I don't see any statues. No, because it's further inside, but it's also a big park, a recreational park. So there's a lot of green, luscious green. So it's kind of both a very huge tourist attraction and a place where locals hang out. As you can see, a lot of tourist buses. So, I mean, <laughs> it's interesting to see, but uh, it's very crowded, especially when we're now in uh, VR. Uh, in summertime so a lot of tourists here but what I what I love about this area as you can see here it's very green uh, the west end of Oslo uh, it's uh, a lot of trees a lot of uh, plants and uh, broad streets this is kind of a rich people's area uh, but uh, I'm, no, I'm not a rich person, but I kind of love this. It's very interesting for me, uh, coming from the northern Norway, this is very exotic in a way. And as you can see down there, beautiful uh, st uh, streets. And beautiful buildings and the architecture here is uh, a kind of this here much this uh, red house it's a uh, functional design uh, I kind of love it in this area it's very calm and uh, not a lot of parties around actually not a lot of nightlife or clubbing this is a very quiet area boring uh, is it boring mm, yeah well mm, I think it is uh, there are of course there are some uh, uh, not pubs and bars but there are some cafes and so on so that's uh, coffee you know is very important in Norway we are uh, alongside Finland we, Norway and Finland are the countries where you are, we consume most coffee and this Kaffebrenneriet was the first like real coffee shop in uh, Norway and Oslo so uh, that brand and that place is very iconic, I think, for Oslo. It's been there for 20 years. Uh, when it comes to shopping in this uh, west, uh, west side area, you have small kind of exclusive vintage shops. You have small exclusive uh, and expensive clothing shops with kind of like you know French brands Italian brands and all that so the whole uh, West End for shopping is expensive but okay if you have uh, money dinero you can splash it around here to find some cool stuff uh, but yeah it's gonna cost you so you have to be loaded with money to go shopping here uh, you can see around me here 
it's not like only rich people there are some apartment buildings smaller apartment buildings uh, where it's more accessible for people to live it's not accessible it's uh, extremely expensive yeah here are the shops some of the typical shops and you have like the beauty shop here Bet's Beauty typical for this area down here uh, it's called Soli Plus I have lived here actually Mats you have too and uh, where we shared a flat with a lot of people but here are typical Japanese dining yeah Soli Plus is a more outgoing area you can also see here Joe and the Juice Brö bar, small uh, cafe, small uh, shops, and here we have an uh, old institution. It's called Champagneria. That's a place where people from the West End like to hang out. But this place is not inexpensive. No, no, but still, it's kind of beautiful. We also have some national this institution. Is Plus. Yeah, this is Ole Plus. Plus here, you, behind me there, with a lot of greenery on it. It's the national library, actually, for the whole of Norway and here on uh, our national day if you have seen that video here is where the party area is where uh, people will pay a fortune to have a table and dance like uh, they were in f the musical fame actually you see the brick building the red brick building when we pass it soon you will see a gate you see the gate there if you see it, it's got uh, those Hitler, Nazi, uh, Hak, Kosh, it's called in uh, Norwegian. N now we're kind of leaving uh, the West End and you see we're going down a hill here and we are going down towards the sea area. Oslo, we are building a lot and there's a lot going on in Oslo. This is the new National Museum for Art, Modern Art. This is here, yeah. Modern and Traditional Art. It's a really a huge, huge building and it will be finished in 2020, I think, or 2021. Okay, Mats, now we have to turn around. Here we have uh, uh, Aker uh, Brygge. And we are down by the sea. This is uh, Akebrygge. All over there, a lot of shopping, a lot of very, very tourist tourist area, no doubt. Uh, so and very expensive. But Os you can just sit there. But I mean, look much, at much, much, much Oslo, for most people in, Nor in the world, Oslo is very expensive. Then you can have a mouth pocket. Yeah, of course, but uh, anyway, it's... And, and here is the boats yeah, out you to can, the Yeah, you can take, you see the green uh, islands behind there. You can take your boats with you. Look, this is where the new museum will come. This is an old building they kept. And you can see here behind uh, the new National Museum for old it's and modern Nobel, art. Uh, Peace Center. Yeah, this is the Nobel Peace Center. Good, much. It's also a museum, so this is like central, and here you see again the new museum coming down. Here you have... Uh, this is like the center. Yeah, look, food trucks, we, the food trucks uh, thing has come to Norway too. Down there you still have the seaside, and today was a lovely day. Uh, so, and I will always recommend the seaside or the fjord side uh, in Oslo because it's beautiful. That's one of the best features with Oslo, I think, that it's so much uh, seaside and you can walk and walk for hours. Yeah, and going up from the seaside and this green area here is the Akershus Festning or the old castle, the old fortress. And uh, that's a place where you can explore as a tourist. It's free entrance. You have beautiful view over the fjord and uh, the Akebrygge area. And I will absolutely recommend you guys to explore it if you are here in Oslo just for a short time. And now we are going into the old city center down here. The Hansken is where the Danish king said that Oslo is going to be. And this area that we are going down now 
is actually the old quadraturen, which, which means the square area, and this is like the, the, the old Oslo, the old Christiania area. And now we are going down uh, something called Prinsensgate, or the Street of the Prince, uh, and that's actually a hidden uh, kind of a cool uh, shopping area street. Not a lot of people know about it. If you want to uh, buy cool con contemporary Norwegian design, this is the street for you actually. Here you have you have some uh, fa uh, known brands, cool cool stuff, cool clothes, maybe Norwegian design and Norwegian Norwegian fashion design. Uh, you have to look for Prinsens Gata. And here it's called Maria Black, Norwegian, I think. Uh, and Julian Red, uh, also Norwegian. Tom Wood, very famous Norwegian clothing brand. And curated. Here we have uh, Rodbier. As you can see, and it's very like typical uh, Scandinavian or Nordic fashion, very minimalistic and uh, maybe not so colorful you can see here this is called uh, F5 all the brands they are carry are Norwegian typical Norwegian all, all the clothes they sell inside are Norwegian f uh, design actually called F5 but I kind of like Prinsensgate, so Prinsensgate is actually a very, very good advice for you guys if you want to have a real Norwegian shopping experience. Now we are just, you can see the new uh, Dijkmanske library and you can see some of the opera down there. This is that the new modern area. It's, it's behind there. Yeah, somewhere. somewhere, yeah. And now we are, this is like the central station area in Oslo very vibrant too all tourists people from all around norway when they come here they sit down here when when it's sun we we love to hang out <laughs> on, on on this uh, guided tour it can be a bit crowded of course because uh, this is a tram and in the afternoon you will be able to meet the locals very close up and intimate if you're gonna have new friends I'm not sure because we don't speak to uh, strangers on a public transportation or a tram like that but well at least you will be able to hang out with uh, the locals now yes now things are changing we are downtown center this is like the most urban areas of uh, Oslo this is a shopping center called Oslo City uh, from the 80s very big in the 80s and the 90s and uh, not maybe so big anymore so here they are building and building new stuff uh, redecorating and they're building a lot they're always doing some kind of work in Oslo mm. they are and n from now on you will be in the uh, east side of uh, Oslo uh, it's uh, you see that the streets are more narrow not so luscious green anymore more people uh, with different colors and much more diversity personally I love this area because it's not uh, what you say it's not only Norwegian typical uh, white people this is an area where you will see a lot of diversity people from all over the world uh, you will have uh, rich people poor people you will have family run restaurants you will have exotic food I mean if it wasn't for this area uh, Oslo would be such a incredible boring city kind of because I think that uh, people from other countries are really enriching our food culture uh, this is also some would say the dangerous area with a lot of maybe here it's typical a lot of uh, drug uh, dealing drug addicts uh, and all kinds of people in a way so yeah and it I think many Norwegians still think it they are kind of afraid of it but 
really, it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, I mean, Oslo is quite a safe city, and uh, if you if you don't dare to enter these areas, you miss out on a lot of cool stuff in Oslo. Here you will find like hijab house, so we have Muslim fashion. Here we have cheap vegetables uh, from all over the world. We have cakes and sweet from the Middle East. Melting Pers pot. Yeah, melting pot and personally I, I, I love it. There's House of Africa, there are uh, yeah, cool shops, different, th a lot of things to see and a lot of things to taste. And yeah. So don't be afraid, I, you probably get some warning. But again, construction work, construction work, construction work. Yeah. I don't think I've been to Oslo one time for 40 years without construction work. But you live in Oslo? No, when I was a child, but never visited Oslo. You, you didn't remember it? No, but I mean, uh, yes, uh, we are getting urbanized in Norway, so a lot of people from all over the Norway are moving in here, and a lot of people from different countries are moving in here. So I think that's why you will see a lot of construction work. Now we are actually closing up to the real barrier between east and west, and that's Akerselven. Yes. But before we go there, we will have a little view of Oslo ER. Yeah, emergency uh, room. So uh, if you guys get sick in Norway uh, and you need a doctor, this is the ER in Oslo, Oslo Lägevakt. Oh, what a beautiful building. <laughs> if you go there, you have to sit and wait for 12 hours. But now, the river. And this uh, Anker Hostel, very cheap place to live in Oslo. Down here, uh, yes. But now we are crossing, uh, the, crossing river. the river. And now we are on the east side, the poor side. Actually, on that side of the river, people in general live more seven years longer than people on this side of, ri of the river. And that's kind of a strange. So we have that really sharp divide between east and west in Norway, too. Well, anyway, now we are entering the hipster area or the uh, hangout place in Oslo where... And the streets are narrow. Yes, they are narrow, but you will have a lot of uh, clubs, bars, cafes and different stuff. This is also Mats area. Mats just live behind here. This is my circle of sure. interest. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't never cross the uh, mm -hmm. uh, river. He doesn't. It's, it's, it's true. It's yeah. And uh, I think that uh, if you are going to visit Oslo and you want to hang out with the locals, you need to go to this area. It's called Grüne Lucka, and uh, I don't think there are any other areas in Oslo where there are so many restaurants and bars and cafes. Do you think so? No, it used to be a very poor area uh, back 25, 30 years no, yeah, ago. Yeah, 20 years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah 20 years ago. And all of a sudden, it just like overnight become the most popular place. Because I lived here like 25 years ago and there were only like, uh, what you call it, no hot fashion, no uh, bars, nothing, just like a slaughter maybe. Yeah, and now, and it was kind of, people didn't dare to come here. It was said that it was really dangerous. But I, th I think you have that English word called gentrification. And this is actually an area where pe poor people f uh, used to live and now they can't afford it anymore. No, because when I moved here, it was right before the boom. That was a possibility to get into, like, the... Uh, um, to buy uh, an apartment in Oslo. Yeah, buy an apartment. You could do it here because it was uh, didn't cost any so much, but no. that's a long time ago. Yeah, because now it's actually dead expensive. Yeah, to buy a flat in uh, downtown Oslo center, oh, you have to be quite rich actually to uh, to do that. So over here you, uh, we have. What I like about Grinelöka is you have different parks, yeah, like it's green. Plazas. Yeah, like Spanish plazas. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and this is like the parade yeah, uh, street, parade street, street. <laughs> gate. Here you have a good old one, 
Fru Hagen. Yeah, that was the first uh, actually like cool hipster place that came here. And more construction work. Yeah. Well, if you know the because of the tram is too heavy for these tracks. They have to repair the tracks all the time. As, uh, guys, we are soon finished with our tour. Uh, now we, you have to wait and see till we go off the tram here because it's it's a hidden gem. And I think this is the place where we will recommend you guys to hang out for some hours if you have time in Oslo. No. That everyone is going here. Yeah. Cool. I got some uh, looks. I think we, people were a bit annoyed we were filming. You know, Norwegians, they don't like that kind of stuff on a public transportation. But as you can see, it, uh, that's uh, tram 12 down me here. And I think here is the best place to end this uh, journey, this authentic inside guide to Oslo. Okay, as you can see behind me, the locals are enjoying the sun and the, the bit cold wind. Uh, and uh, well, if I arrive, me and Mats arrive at your town, at your city, wherever, what's that inside tip? What local journey should we take? Uh, what is that local experience which is not so touristic? Uh, we are dying to know. You know what to do. Subscribe, post us your story and push the bell so you get uh, um, tons of fun for us. And uh, yeah, I know Mats will say that uh, don't forget merch. So you can see in my t-shirt, a bit big. I have to make it a bit more narrow. Uh, if you love that uh, this shirt or other things, if you want to support us, go to and the you can see the merch is in a card there. The merch is in a card here. And up there is There's the next a video. next video, new video, and, and here's the best for you to watch. Yeah, best for you. How do you know it's best for you, Mats? Because YouTube says it. So. Okay, YouTube says so. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the the ride with us on. Uh, tram number 12 hope to see you here soon now i'm going down here to grab a beer and hang with the locals this is your way to norway all the fun you need this is your way to norway finally some sun are you do you want to hang out with us in the local area this is your way to norway you won't miss a thing